the year 1950. Helio Gracie, the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion and the mastermind behind what's known today as Gracie Jiu-Jitsu, has challenged the heavyweight champion of the world, Kimura, from Japan. In order to qualify and prove himself a worthy opponent for Kimura, Helio is about to fight Kato, the number two Jiu-Jitsu man in the world. He will apply his favorite move, the choke. The effectiveness of the move puts Kato to sleep immediately. At this point, Kimura challenged Elio Gracie to fight for the World Championship. It would be the first time ever that a Jiu-Jitsu Championship of the world would be fought outside of Japan. Speaking to my grandfather much later about the fight, I said, Grandpa, what did you think going into the fight? What was your mindset? He said, Henry, I never expected to beat this Japanese champ. I knew he was the best Japanese Jiu-Jitsu fighter in the world, and if I was going to truly believe in what I do, I had to at least test it against that person given the opportunity. So he knew he was going to lose in front of his whole country, but he's still engaged. And that's the definition of a warrior. That's the definition of a fighter. That's the definition of a modern-day samurai. Come. 